Hey, so I'm back. So I'm going to show you how I um, dye my hair. Um, right now it's this faded color and I'm going to turn it into uh, to this blue. So originally I had dyed my hair blue um, about three weeks ago and this is the color that I faded to. It looks more like a gray with a tone of green in there. I don't know, like a, maybe grayish uh, teal. I'm not really sure what the color um, looks. It doesn't look like a bad color. I just want the blue color back. So this is what I did the first time. Um, and I added the conditioner. So I'm going to use a little bit of conditioner and then I'm also going to be using uh, two different colors. I'm going to be using this uh, sapphire and the sky blue. And then this is the brand that I prefer. It's called Ion Brights. Um, and they're semi-permanent hair dye. So it says on the box that it, it will uh, wash out in seven to 10 washes. And so as you saw earlier, that's the color that it fades to, at least for me since I have black hair. And then what I like about this is that it shows you the measurements. So if you have shorter hair than I do, you would use less product. For my uh, hair, I need to use two full uh, tubes of, of dye. And I found that if I use two of the, of the sapphire, my hair turns out black. So I need to add a sky blue and a sapphire mixture in order to get it that blue that shows up uh, with black hair. And then this is kind of optional. It just make it, uh, it's just a lot easier for me to, uh, I guess, add, apply it to my hair when I add the conditioner. It blends a lot better and it's easier to apply. You can easily just apply it, apply the product directly from the tube. Um, I just found that this is the easiest way. And right here I'm showing you that I'm using about two thumbs. So it's about an ounce of conditioner. Of course, if you have less hair, you could uh, use less conditioner. Or if you have lighter hair than, than my dark hair, then you probably could get away with adding more conditioner. Um, so again, this is what my hair looks like. I freshly washed it and just dried it, air dried it with no conditioner. Uh, I try to get it as dry as possible uh, so it can absorb all, all of the product that I'm about to put in there. You can still see some of the blue in it. Um, okay, so now I'm going to be adding the uh, product and just make sure you add it completely in all of the little gaps um, and in between the, the, the hair. I separate it with, with the clip and I just kind of do a little bit at a time, um, just like if I was adding shampoo. And then make sure to wear something old that you don't mind uh, getting dirty because this is very messy. And then just continue the process until you uh, finish uh, or you get your all your hair saturated with this uh, product or mixture. Once you uh, finish, if you have any remaining product, you can always save it. So this is my blue hair. It looks very, very blue in, um, in real life, but I don't know why on the, on the camera it doesn't look as blue. Or maybe it does, I don't know. For right now, I don't feel like it looks that blue, but in real life, um, you can see how blue this is.